Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, interesting. It's been a busy day because we are getting ready for the draft. We've got all kinds of stuff that's going on. Um, we have the New York Stinking Giants realizing that their team is ass and that they are literally fire sailing the, the roster. They are just getting rid of everybody. And I mean, everybody, um, uh, you know, whether it's a wide receiver or cornerback, they are cutting their losses and they're just saying, we're going to start the process over right now. They are shopping players left and right. And poor Rashid, Rashid, I, it just, it just got to be sad last season with Rashid. You know, with the way he had always been with the Giants, that they're great. And it's just been the last couple of seasons have, have put a, a terrible toll on Rashid. So we'll see what happens, see if anybody actually takes any of their bum players. I'm sorry, any of their great players. And makes a trade and offers more than a potted meat sandwich on a cracker for any of them. In the meantime, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. The Dallas Cowboys, we lucked out. I, I admit that there's a lot of luck in the draft. You can go through, you can look at a player's statistics, his numbers and everything else. You could do the wonder links. You can do all of the combine and stuff. And in the end, it's no guarantee that that player is going to be good. Some guys you think they're going to come out the box and just be world changers. Other guys you don't think much of end up being the great ones. So when we got Micah Parsons, Micah Parsons has been everything and above what we could have wanted. You know, some people actually said, you know, there's some potential character issues with Micah Parsons, you know, and, and of course said, you know, the Cowboys always looking at those kind of guys and stuff. And we didn't think, you know, evidently they didn't think that there were problems that would cause any issues from the Cowboys didn't have any uh worry about Micah Parsons and Micah Parsons has been and is becoming the man for the Dallas Cowboys Micah Parsons is everywhere I mean you've seen him at fight night and wrestling matches basketball games he is everywhere but finally we found sadly Micah Parsons doesn't do it all he doesn't know it all in fact man I can't believe what I witnessed. It was something that I thought I would never see. I, I, Micah Parsons, I, I, I know you know better than this, Micah. <sighs> Micah went back home to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. To his roots, to his community, to his peeps. And he got in front of them, and he messed up. I, I don't don't even know how to equate. I'm surprised there hasn't been a TMZ video of this yet. But may, maybe we need to start worrying about Micah Parsons. So let's go to the tape here of what transpired. <sighs> Native, there he is wearing a sweet Hershey Bears jersey that they hooked him up with, and he's gonna drop the pucks. An icon <laughs> in this area, and he, he got away for the guys, he was ready to drop the puck. <laughs> well, someone's got to give him the uh, exact oh. instructions there, what he's supposed to do. So, drops the puck, gets the photo op. He read the lineup in the locker room before the games. They're gonna enjoy it upstairs at the suite level today. He's got the Bears number 11 jersey on. Thank you, Harrisburg native uh, Micah Parsons for dropping tonight's ceremonial puck and tonight's hometown hero salute. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That that was good. Okay, all right. So yeah, I, I know what y'all going to say. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's some bullshit, Margos. You you sucked me in. You you bullshitted me, man. I can't believe you did that. You had me thinking Micah Parsons was in trouble. Well, he, he's not in trouble. Okay, come on, man. Hey, get ready for the draft. We're having a little bit of fun here. But 
Um, yeah, that's kind of funny. It's like they they roll. Hey, Micah, can you come in and do a pock drop? Okay, all right, here we go. Um, we, we forgot to give you all the details on that. So, hey, he is human. He is human. But I got to be honest with you, man. Micah is everywhere. I'm surprised that we have yet to see. Um, I don't know. Some of you may not be as old as I am. But you remember back in the days, they used to have the Bo Nose commercials. Because Bo Jackson, of course, being a running back and being a baseball player and stuff. They had Bo Nose. And it was basically Bo did everything. You, you name it. Bo knows this. Bo know, uh, he, you know, he, he, whether it was baseball or football or anything that you can imagine, Bo knows. I'm surprised they have not recreated those in Micah Parsons um, using him. Uh, to me, that would be a great, great uh, ad campaign, you know, because he not only plays linebacker, he plays defensive end. I could see him there saying, you know, because he did lobby to play on offense. I can see in the ad where he's playing, you know, hey, Bo, I mean, hey, Micah, uh, we need you for defense fin. No problem. Okay, uh, Micah, you got to go back to linebacker. Okay, no problem. And then Micah, hey, we need you a cornerback. Yeah, okay, no problem. So then he's out there covering somebody. And then Micah, can you, can you be the center? Okay, no problem. And he just goes through and just does all of the different positions and things because Micah knows. Micah can do everything except for drop a puck. So that's what we got here, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to the draft. I'm getting excited. I'm, I'm, I'm getting giddy. I'm, I'm working with the system here to make sure that we don't have any hiccups come Thursday night. I don't know if Rashid will show up. I'm hoping that he will, but since they have two picks in the top ten, we could potentially see two meltdowns live here. I've talked to Rio. He's going to be at the toxic waste dump that is FedEx Field, and he's going to be streaming. So we'll have a Rio cam. And, of course, we'll have the ultimate Philly 500 cam here, of course, because, well, there's nothing more classic than seeing Philly 500 melt down. And for you Washington fans, you know, I sleep better at night knowing that you guys picked up Carson Wentz I, I, re I really do so knowing that you got this guy as a quarterback makes me happy